Hi everyone, so I'm continuing the first lesson of the first data pack. Um, the last little bit, uh, I kind of ran out of steam, so I stopped it, but now we're going to keep on going. So we're looking at this data set. I've got three different sets of numbers, but what's important is all of them have a mean of six. So without knowing what's happening with the spread, how they're kind of like spread out, it's, it's you know it's it's kind of useless to us. We need to know that little bit, that bit of extra information. So we need to kind of know what the spread of the data is. Now at GCSE, you did the range and the interquartile range, and we tend to just use the median with that. Well, we've got two more which used to be on GCSE, but I think we're taken off, which is the variance and the standard deviation. And we tend to use the mean when we're working with that. And it's kind of, the variance and the standard deviation are kind of how far, on average, are you away from the average. So it tells us roughly how far away from the average we are. So we've got the variance, which is without the square root, and we square root it to give us the standard deviation. There we go. Um, there are two equations in the booklet, in the formula booklet, for if we're given summary stats. So if we're given some summary statistics, we can work out the mean and we can work out the standard deviation. That there is the symbol for the standard deviation, or lowercase sigma. Right, so let's give it a go then. Let's have a look at this. So for the mean, I know that x bar is the sum of x over n. So x bar is 25 over 10, x bar is 2.5. So because I've got that part, the sigma equation I'm going to use is the sum of x minus x bar squared over n. The x minus x bar is how far away from the mean you are. The sum of adding it up and dividing by n tells us on average how far away from the mean you are. But there was an issue there that if you were like a plus 2 away and a man, then the next one was a minus 2 away, it kind of cancelled them out. You didn't get a feel for what was actually happening. So what they did was they square it and then square root the answer at the end. And that works it out for us. So it's a bit of a sneaky way around. There was a lot of evolution um, to make it, to work out what this standard deviation was, the formula for it. Anyway, stick it in your calculator, you get about 1.1 out. So let's try this one now. So question two's got different summary stats. So my x bar is fine, that's the sum of x over n. So that gives me 2.75. But I've got to be careful because I've got the sum of x squared, I need to use that slightly expanded version. Now I tend to, for absolute accuracy, I'll use the sum of x over n all squared as a value to do. So my sigma will be, you've got to be careful, just to put the wrong number down a minute ago. I've had to re-record this three times now. So I've got 232.1 over 15 minus 41.3 over 15 all squared. So you stick that in your calculator, see what you get, make sure that square root covers it all. Uh, the completed pack says 2.81, so I'll go with that. It might be slightly different because we're more accurate, who knows. Right then. So it says find the mean and standard deviation. So I'm fairly convinced we've done this in the last little bit, um, the first couple of questions at uh, the start. But I'll do it in the calculator. So you can see it there. I've got one set of information. So if I go into statistics and then do F2 for calc, I'm going to check the setup. If it's list one, one, I just put my numbers in. If it's list one, list two, I need to put ones in the frequency column in list two. So this is list one, one. So that's fine. We'll just do that. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put a 3, a 
2, a 7, a 6, a 4, a 9, a 5, and a 12 in. And then just do F1 for one bar. So that tells me that X bar is 6. Now, on your calculator, there's lots of different summary stats in there. But it gives me a sigma x as 3.08 and an sx as 3.295. The sigma is the one we want. So the sigma is 3.082. Now that really technically is the population standard deviation. Whereas technically... The S is the sample standard deviation. In fairness, you could use either value and you should still get full marks, but ideally stick with sigma. There. So I've got 3.0822. Oops. There. Right, let's have a look at this next one. So the next one's using a frequency table. So on my calculator, like I said, for these numbers that are there. If I'd had my setup, oh, come out of the wrong one then, sorry. If I'd had my setup as list one, list two, then I'd have to put ones in the list two in the frequency column for question one. For question two, I do need to be list one, list two. So I'll press F2 for list and then press two for list. And that gives me that. So that says that my midpoints go in list one and my frequencies go in list two. So I need to have my frequency at my midpoints down the top. So if I've got my midpoints, so I've got a 70, an 85, a 95, and a 125. So they're going to go in list one, and these are going to go in list two. But the important bit is having list one, list two. Right, so let's stick the calculator back up. So that's on list two, so that's okay. Just delete out these. Delete, 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 delete. So I've got 70, 85, keep an eye on the site, it's seven minutes, isn't it? 95, 125. And then 8, 7, oh no, 8, 8, 7, I'm sorry. 8, 7, 10. There. F1 for 1 there tells me that X bar is 95.6 and the, the population standard deviation is 21.17. 21.17. The sample standard deviation is 21.497. Like I say, you should be able to use both of them, but ideally stick with Sigma. Don't be a donkey trying to use the other one. It's not clever. You're not clever. Right then. So here we go. So we've got some comparing stuff to do. We're on eight and a half minutes. So let's see if we can do it. So it says here, so if I was looking at the mean, I'd have to have some form of explanation about the average. And if I was looking at the standard deviation, just be a bit, bit sneaky and put that for standard deviation. Then I'm going to look at the spread or the consistency. There. Now I'm on nine minutes, so I might just stop there. Oh, well how, can, how can I do, can I do that one? No, do you know what? I think I'll stop there. I don't want to rush it. I can just keep going with the medium and into quartile range. Actually, now nah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Right, so if you put that in your calculator, so that goes in list one, that goes in list two, it gives you x bar as 2.84 and sigma as 1.96. Right, so it says team B have a mean of three and a standard deviation of 4.5. Compare the differences. So be careful, know what it actually means. Team B, on average, are scoring more goals. However, Team A are more consistent with their goals because they've got a smaller standard deviation. I've got three seconds left. I'm just going to pause it and write it. There you go. How fast is that? Quick pause it and write it.